Unless you're a psychomaniac minimalist trying desperately to fill that void in their life. You probably hoard things. It's okay though, because we all do it. Some more than most, because some people have problems. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I don't even like Family Guy that much. Why did I keep this? It's gotten to the point where I keep the box to everything I get. It doesn't even have to be video game or media related. I keep it either way. I buy batteries and I think, Oh, I should probably keep the box for this. I might need it. The thing I see the majority of people hoard, including me, is video game junk. For me, it's not games, but rather the consoles that I collect. And you may be thinking, but whatever your name is, you can't use the consoles without the games. And you'd be right, but shut up, because that's not the point of this video. Also, my name is Ocean. <laughs> when it hurt to ask. The actual point of this video is that I am in dire need of some justification for this hobby. So, I'm gonna explain why it's actually okay to be the sole cause of landfills in America. So, uh, probably not a good start, but here's why <coughs> collecting is a good thing. It looks cool. If you can find a way to organize it all, then it looks really cool. Granted, that's if you can get it to look cool. Some people just can't. But if you organize it in a neat looking way, then you can make anyone go... Damn, nice train wreck. And if I wasn't supposed to put this on display, why would companies make it look so damn good? The Mario Wii Remote was made for this, come on. Plus, a lot of this stuff was made with hours or days of care. It's only fair to put it on display and appreciate it as much as the people who designed it did. Except for the Wii U Pro Controller. That thing can die in a fire. Uh -huh. I can play anything I want for the most part. I own every console that my computer can't emulate. Except for the PS5, because why would I want a PS5? Any game that is sold for a regular amount of money, I can play. This keeps me from eliminating the games I play so I can speak on any type of game because I can actually play it, unlike some of you. Granted, just because I can play these games doesn't mean I do, especially Banjo-Kazooie. My life has been taken over by Banjo-Kazooie. Everywhere I look, it's there. I haven't even played it, it's just always there, looming over me with a terrifying presence and I can't get rid of it. Everywhere I go, it's there. The bear and the bird. Every screen in my room, I exit my room, it's there. There's a statue, there's... It's on every screen, I can't handle it anymore. Illegal activities, baby! Woo! I can be a criminal! I can hack anything I want! You want Super Mario 3D World where you can play as a pokey? Well, you can do that. You want Mario to be Captain Falcon? Sure, we can do that. Point being, I can screw over Nintendo as much as I want. I don't need to pay for Wooly World, damn it! Ruby gave me this point. It's a hobby. I'm not going out committing mass murders or starting wars, so let me play Mario, damn it. It's lots of fun to be able to go and play whatever game I want. One of the best feelings is finally getting your hands on a console or a game you've always wanted. I am ashamed of how excited I was when I got my Wii U. Hell yeah, it's a piece of shit! If you collect, you know this feeling. It's when you've been searching for something for a decent price for Wario only knows how long. And then you finally get it. It's an amazing feeling, but the point is, fun is fun, and I need it. Me. I need fun! This one is a little bit more of a counter-argument towards the whole have everything in the world argument and making like a landfill, but... Whatever, bitches, I'm saying it anyway. You may be thinking, but Ocean, you don't own an NES or an SNES or an Atari 2600 or a ColecoVision, and you should shut the fuck up. But also, yeah, you're right. How do I play these games, you may be thinking. I use the horrors of emulation as a sort of substitute to the real thing. Obviously, I would love to play these things legitimately, but it's hard. So, emulation is the next best thing. It adds to the point of me being able to play whatever the hell I want. Really adds to the no excuse for me having not played this amazing game that everyone loves factor of it. Haha, <laughs> great. Point being, piracy is a radical, dude. Okay, bye bye! At the end of the day, I just want to have fun. I'm not cooking crystal meth and not telling my family I have lung cancer and then trapping a man in a van with toxic gas and killing him and hiding the body and killing another man down in the base, but no, I'm not breaking bad. So I really don't see why I feel such a need to justify my landfilling to myself. A good collection can make a good game room, and a good game room can impress anyone and bring you fun for hours. Plus, hands were made for this. 
What else would these be used for? Manual labor? Nah, we're playing fucking Yoshi. It's okay for you to hoard. Some people would even go as far as to call it collecting. Those people are stretching. They're doing yoga. They're Wii Fit Trainer or something. Hobbies are hobbies, and who cares if you play Mario sports or real sports? I mean, maybe you're a doctor, but who cares? The most I can do is cut down on my hoarding. Less battery boxes, and I think we'll be fine. And that's my advice for future hoarders. Don't let it get to be too much. Once you buy something not even related to your collection and keep the box, that's when you need to slow down. So, I leave you with this. A tribute to the game that has taken over my life, as well as some time to think about what you've done. Goodbye. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Don't let your life pass you by. Weep not for the memories. I don't know if I've been singing long enough for the montage.